we are back with game two between Ojama and Floppy, aka Georgie. And yeah, we do see another wild offense team and another Hooper. This really is his signature, man. This time he has the Nihiligo. Last game one, Ojama had the Nihiligo. This actually looks like a Brofist team that is on the forum. But he probably changed up the Sith or like the Month. Like usually um, in the forums, it's like Mega Tita. And I think that team doesn't have a Lari. But he added a Lari, but this could also be Mega Lari. We don't know yet if it's Mega this or Mega this. And on the forums version, it's uh, Scarf Landris. It's, I think it was Scarf Landris, the team of Cartana, but I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was like that. He gets a Brock, he has Scarf or Sash, and go. Um, his team is actually quite weak to Landris. He only has Hera as a ground resist. And his Heatron is Balloon, which makes sense because he's super weak to Lando, as I just mentioned. Um, but I don't know, Balloon Tran is weird because South and Eros exists on Zygarde, so it doesn't even help you with that weakness. But uh, Balloon Heatron is obviously a great switch into opposing Heatron because um, they usually can only touch you with uh, off power, and if you're on a Balloon, they obviously can't do that. But yet they exchanged rocks and. Ojama is forced out here, so he can predict the switch here. Um, floppy, aka Georgie. Uh, I can see the Tita coming out. If it's Banta, that would make sense to pursue this. Because Stonish like destroys Heatran, so you obviously get scared out. But it's not like he has a good switch in the Tita, so like, if that's a bandit, like, look at his switch in. Like, nice Stonish switch in, boy. Um, yeah. But yeah, you can definitely go for like a toxic here, breaking a switch. Mm -hmm. He does just do that. Mm, not sure why he went into Ladi. Ladi doesn't do much to Heatran. Uh, he's probably just gonna try to break the balloon. But yeah, now we will see if it's Scarf or Mega. It is Mega, okay, so it's probably Bolt Beam Recover Defog. Maybe it's even T-Wave. That set was used in RS a lot, but I haven't seen it yet in Sun and Moon. Or at least not often. Uh, so it's Tauntron. So was he, was he anticipating like a sub Coleman Lottie or what he taunt? Probably. So now he finally goes on the T-Tar. Oh, how does he know? How did he know? Right set and goes for off power, gets a speed death drop. So the next off power kill, so Jama's gonna be tempted to switch into Landris here. Does he break that? Oh, he goes in the Lottie. He, he magma stomped, I think, breaking the Landris. I don't, I don't understand why he went Lottie. I guess he's second this Lottie, kinda. Yeah, he's just second. He gets damage on the turn. Off power was a fine play there because Toxic and Sand and Magma Storm uh, rep, like, damage the Lottie anyway. So yeah, he now, balloon, the balloon is popped on a turn and he has no s crack switch and like Heracross is only ground resist so he sacks then and here we go. And it's gonna be short game, good god. Like, how, well, how does he even revenge this Lando of Greninja? But if the Lando is scarfed then Greninja dies to Earthquake after rocks. So I guess he has to go on Heracross here unless he's... Because we don't know confront yet if the uh, if the lander scarf if I'm not mistaken right, and if it's scarf and he goes in the grin here he would get pop. So I think he has to go Hera, and click rock blast or CC depending on if he wants to predict the switch. Um, I don't think it's scarf grin. It's probably trick room Hooper again, right? Then here go. I think the Nilego was the Scarfer, yeah. The balloon was the turn was balloon. The so the other could be like the belly drum. And the Heracross is obviously mega. And yeah, I think this is some spikes Greninja. Um not sure if it's Ash or Protein. But definitely some sort of spikes. But yeah, if he's not Scarf Greninja, his only play here is the Heracross because why would you risk your Greninja if you don't know the Lando set yet? He actually risks the Greninja. Maybe he is Scarf Greninja, we shall see. 
Um, so he, he's not scarfed Greninja, or he thinks that Ojama is not scarfed. So Ojama, uh, in Georgie's eyes, if he has, uh, if he thinks that the Lano is forced out here, then that would always he would obviously think that the um, Gastron would come out. So um, he might try to go for spikes, predicting the switch. Um, he doesn't even have like a good double switch to expect the uh, Gastron. The best double switch he would have to pressure the Gastron would probably be the Heracross because Gastron uh, runs Spadef. So Heracross can obviously destroy that with a close combat, but like, it's already looking... Hmm. I think it's looking better for Ojama this game. But if this is not Scarf Grand and the Lando is Scarf and he gets popped by Earthquake, then it's looking like pretty over. And like, Ojama has a huge advantage if that is the case. So, like, I'm really not sure why he didn't go Heracross, because I don't think he's Scarf Grand. And like I said, he, we, like he didn't know confirmed yet what which one is the Scarf on Ojama's team. Like, Joji AK Floppy didn't know that yet. Okay, like, I don't know why I, why I always call him Joji AK Floppy. But yeah, last time I think I always called him by Joji, so... Um, yeah, his formal name is Floppy, so like, I'm just trying to make sure to, like... Put in both names. And it is Scarf Land, only the Greninja just drops. He said no HP guys, I'm not that funky. So like he he was saying to Gemma just go to Gastron, but yeah, Gemma was like nah nah nah. You're not Scarf Greninja, let me go for Earthquake real quick. So he's Scarf Landris. And uh, now you can go Heracross, uh, obviously this is locked into Earthquake. You can fire off a close combat because he's not Gemma's not gonna stay in here. But yeah, the other game is looking over, it's looking like Ojama's gonna win this 2 and 0. Oh, and he's gonna move on to round five losers bracket. And Floppy's probably gonna be out of ulti. Like, unless he's gonna CC here, right? Because the switch is obvious. Okay, Rock blasted. I mean, the, the switch was pretty obvious there, and CC hit hit all the four members that are not Landris pretty decently. Or, like, pretty good. Or, like, they hit them better than Rock Blast, is what I'm trying to say. He goes for off power, that jump the god, expecting the trend. Um, yeah, this game is over. This is a free katana for Ojama. Um, even if he goes for like belly drum, Z belly drum, Katana easily eats up a uh, Aqua Jet. If he's banned, the best he can do Katana's superpower. But I haven't seen Bandit's superpower in forever. He just goes for knockoff. Um, that's a Z move Katana, and it takes absolutely nothing. And he can just fire off a smart strike here and weaken the Heracross. And yeah, this game looks over. Like, this was such a weird series. Like, last time was Blonde, I brought Stall twice, now he brings this Wild HO twice. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of, like, Creative HO, I'm not gonna lie, but it didn't really work in this scenario here, in this, uh, in this match. The Azu can't do anything to Kartana, he's forced into Heracross because Hoopa easily gets 2 hit KO'd. And Heracross can, I think Heracross can take 2 hits because it's pretty bulky. Um, yeah, people do say, or like even I think myself, Heracross, Mega Heracross is not that good, but one thing it has that is the bulk, so the bulk is gonna come in handy here. And that's one of Mega Heracross's uh, big pluses like, compared to regular Heracross. Um, I'm kind of talking here about what I'm Fuga said once in the Smog Test chat. He was comparing uh, Mega Hera to regular Heracross. He's Leaf Blades. I feel like Smart Strike was free there, but maybe he doesn't have it. Like, um, he was, some Fuga was talking in the chat once about uh, how SD Flame Mode could break Clefable and Mega Hera doesn't break Clefable as well or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this regular Hera obviously isn't that bulky, as bulky as this Mega. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just like mentioning the like, random, random, talking about random stuff here because the game is pretty much over. Yeah, the crit sucks, but it's not going to be game changing. Uh, Smart Strike might be a roll, or he, if he doesn't have it, uh, Ojama will, is gonna switch out because Katana pretty much cleans this up later. So he can sack. Is he trying maybe? There goes Lando, okay. Anticipated, anticipating a close combat, he goes into Landris. I mean, I don't think it matters what he does. And yeah, now that Heracles has a defense drop. And he gets the extra Hydrian chip damage, so this is guaranteed in range from Katana now. Now he sacks the Hydrian, I thought he would have done that last turn, okay. 
Uh, now you can just le click Leaf Blade and win the game. Gets an attack boost here, unless it's the Wild Timid set, I'm pretty sure he's not, yeah. Exactly, gets an attack boost. There's the Hooper. I don't know why he switched out, but like... We do see Black Little Eclipse, so it's Z Night Slash. Oh, I've seen that set a few times. I think it's for Mew and for Megalai. And yeah, Hooper is, I think... This normal Hooper is um, four times weak to Dark, right? It's Ghost Psychic, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, that would that, that, that probably killed like six Hoopers, that Z move. I don't know, it, it killed a few Hoopers for sure. What was, what, what did Georgie switch up? What was he expecting? Let me see. I mean, he had to try something, like, to he didn't have a win con at that point. But I really cannot really, I cannot tell you guys what he, like, predicted there. If you guys know what potential switch or whatever he predicted there, let me know. But I thank you guys for watching. Ojama actually pulling off a 2-0 in this uh, round 4 of ulti loses bracket. And he moves on. So congrats to Ojama. And yeah, Floppy Aki Georgie, he, um, he still made it pretty far, round 4. It's, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, well, it was quite interesting to, to watch his games, to say the least. And yeah... Quite surprised by these players, Ojama and Choka, that are still in the tour that don't main Sun and Moon OU. Thank you guys for watching. Congrats to Ojama for the 2 0 victory, and I'll see you guys with more Ulti and Snake Draft tours in the next hours, days. Probably next days. I don't think I have more videos up today, but yeah, peace out, friends.